and it's a science, and it can be explained, and it can be experienced, like a lab, where you find your total potential, awaken to experience your own excellence. That's why the teacher in the Kundalini Yoga, which have perfected it, becomes the lord of time, space, longitude, latitude, altitude, and attitude. It's not a self-grabbing or self-praising or boasting. These are the facts. Even when a master was tortured, Guru Arjan was tortured, the orders were he has to be put on a hot plate, iron burning red hot plate, and a burning red, red, red sand to be poured on him to cook him. Five days. He sat solid. And me, Amir, the Sufi peer, came and he said, Lord, this is just nothing. You give me the orders. I can stop all this. He said, no. I'm a teacher. I have to go through it to let people know how to go through the calamity with a radiant smile. That is the first sign, first qualification of a Kundalini teacher Kundalini Yoga teacher, that he goes through the calamity with a radiant smile. He deals with another person with the most humble understanding. And he lives in the co-relationship of imperial majesty. He appeared as he appears in utmost grace with a bright and beautiful face and he doesn't look normal to belong to earth. He belongs to the Lord because he is the Lord. So if you have any spiritual nonsense that God is your Lord and you are just Peace of nothing and this and that and guilt and that, this da 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 da. You're born in sin and you're this and that, all that your stories, that is out. They're outdated. A teacher in a Kundalini Yoga is a Lord living on the earth as a viceroy of the Lord in the heaven. Less than that is not acceptable. I just wanted to give this news to you uh, so that you may not feel that, my God, it, it, it's, so, it, it's okay. And Gurchan comes and reads you anatomy and all that bullshit, and you think, well, you know, it's a course. It's not an intercourse. It's not a course. It is just to experience. You all have come. You're most welcome. You None would have come. We would have taught it. Let God fail, let his servants not. That's the first qualification of a Kundalini Yoga teacher. Let God fail, let his servants not. not. If you do not have this concept, you can never teach Kundalini Yoga, doesn't matter how fakely, pretentiously, correctly you can copy me. I know it. We started at 275 people. In the end, we were left two. You have to understand, God is Lord. Just repeat after me. God is Lord. I am the representing Lord. 
This is your affirmation. Can you do it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes. Just please, 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 just let's not hurry up. God is? Lord. And I am the? How much misbehavior you can go? What, how much is the margin in this? It's called zero tolerance. Between you and God, between you and God, there is no tolerance, zero tolerance. But between you and God, there's a little rod which hangs in your legs. And that is you have to conquer in the words of Nanak, Indri Jit, Sab dukh te rath. It's a line in Sukhmani. Indri means the nerve. Nas. From where the word came, pee nas. You pee through this artery. This is your ejaculation artery. Combined with your gonads, are your mail system. But his command center is not down. His command center is in pituitary. So you're almost three feet, but you have to travel. 36 inches in your whole life you have to control. From first chakra to seventh chakra, you are normally around 36 inches. Is that understood? Yes, sir. We are talking big things. I must say, I'm surprised there are books and books and libraries and libraries. And I am teaching Kundalini Yoga for 27 years. We have not written, even written one book. We have just written a kind of a book and manual to practically practices, and I'm very grateful to Shakti, the mother divine of this whole thing, that she came out with that, and that's the most wonderful book she did, and I went through it, I had tears in my eyes. She represented better than anything else I've ever seen. And there are books on Kundalini. Two psychologists got together, and they wrote Kundalini Yoga. Swami Chakra, gave books, and he didn't know what a damn chakra is. <laughs> it's funny. There are saints, and there are great people, and there are marvelous saintly people, incarnation of God, and their avatars, damn shit. They are not human. God made you human. Be human. I know when they put all these serious things up, Paisa, Virginia, St. Kalsa, Yogi Ji, PhD, big butt. <laughs> Doesn't mean a thing. It's just to survive among the insanity. There's no nonsense about one thing. Let's remember, all adjectives are yours. And every objective will subject you. Now as the city sings up, I am a head of the religion, I can say many things. This is our teacher course, I'm using a human language. Normally, you see how sophisticated I speak in Gurdwara? Every word has to be measured. Hmm? You understand that? You have to be very polished. You are in the court of the Guru, you have to speak very nicely. All nice things. Have you met two friends ever, those who are buddies, and have you seen them talking nicely? You know how they speak? You know how President Bill Clinton was addressed by our Governor Bruce King? You want to know? Yes. He said, oh, kid, you are winning. I wish to see you winning. It was a big uncle governor and a young uncle, a young governor of, from Arangsa, because he was senior and he was junior governor. They didn't say, Mr. President. No, no, no. He said, hey, kid, 
I was there standing. He said, oh, by the way, I want to introduce you Yogi Ji. And he said, yeah, I know. And I gave Hillary a bracelet. I said, have it today. Tomorrow, as a president's wife, you shall never have the chance to have it. Neither you can accept it, because his value is more than $25. And she looked at me and laughed. <laughs> That's the joke. So if you are practicing something to practice, and you want to be somebody to be something, just understand, with the grace being a Kundalini Yoga teacher, there's a vastness of your heart which must go with it. Not exploitation, break somebody's heart to break your heart. And learn to live straight. There are three things if you can do, it will come to you automatically. Be straight, talk straight, and live straight. Sometimes people get very upset with me because I, it doesn't matter what you say, I have to say what I have to say. And they feel very frustrated, really, angry sometimes. They feel they can't change me. Fools, if I have to be changed, then how you will be changed? Whose job is to change? It's my job to change you and your job to get changed. Chisel and hammer has to carve the stone. Stone, if can carve the chisel, there's no need of a chisel. Then stone is the chisel. If the students, if a teacher depends upon student, he's not a teacher to begin with. Then it's a commercial situation. That's why it has taken 27 years to start. Teacher course. We used to teach Tantra course for five days, what, for 35 bucks or something? And then we used to collect money to pay the bills. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> you know why? At that time, we wanted to coin the people. We wanted to give them the experience that there is more than God which man can enjoy. You don't understand? People do something. Sometimes I go to the psychic and I wrote myself, God save me from psychic. They pollute and dilute my faith. And I not only visit every psychic, that's my entertainment. What should I do? <laughs> I have no peer group, so what should I do? I go to the psychic and I end up psychicking them. And <laughs> I go for a reading of the tarot cards and I end up reading myself. You get frustrated after a while, you know, you want to... <laughs> I, I went to Kun Kun, we spent, those people spent so much money, I can't believe it. And there was one of my healer, and I ended up fixing, fixing his spine. And because he was giving me an absolutely powerful massage, and I felt in myself there's a defect. And I told him, I said, could you lie down on the table where I'm lying down, and I saw in the lower rail where tears comes, there was a hook like this. And I said, God, do you sometimes feel absolutely energyless? He said, yes, Master. When they were calling me Master, all right, and they were beating me up with the sticks and all those things they do, it was an experience. They put a towel on your face and spit at you. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to go through it. I wanted to see what it's all about. And they were very sincere and really <laughs> marvelous people. They would tie all the tree leaves around myself and wrap me up at night and say, go to sleep. How much you can go to sleep? <laughs> Tons of leaves tied around me. And they fed titiya to my spine to ask it to come back. They had their own language. But one thing they appreciated, I was a very good student. A good student only can become a great master. And it's the goodness of the heart.
It was a fun. And then they took me in a little tent and baked me, really. It was, oh, wow, those herbs. Old, old ancient method. Where in, in home they do that fire ceremony to bring herbs so that everybody can smell and purify and get healthy. Great experience. There was a combination of everything. I was just living 20 century BC. This was fun. It was not what they were doing. It was what their sincerity was among us. That lady who was the healer, oh God, when she went in prayer, I told her, I said, whatever you do to me is fine, but keep on in this aura. You are more bright than the sun itself. Funny part in this whole thing was, they were reading from the book of Christ, the prayers in Spanish, and chanting Satanam at the same time. <laughs> there was no indignity or disqualification of anything. So technically speaking, a teacher has to have width of heart. Width. Built up and a deep understanding. Understanding to know. If you don't know to know, how can you know the unknown? Do you hear me? And try, you're trying to understand. Things are very simple, the way I put it. It's, and that's the way they are. Nothing is complicated. Please understand. You are come from the perfect to be perfect. You are not come from the perfect, and you have been put here as imperfect, and you have to become. This damn religion, whatever it is, has put God outside than you. And that's the most sickening thing for thousands of years we have practiced. And we cannot recuperate it from it. We are we, we are we, and God is outside of us. <laughs> you have put God out, there's nothing in you. And that's what you're suffering for. You don't need a religion. You need a reality that Ang Sang Vahe Guru, with every limb, with 30 trillion cells of you, which changes themselves 72 hours, God is in you. That when one Nanak said, they threw stone at him. Ah, you. What are you talking about? He says, it's the truth. Ang means every limb. Sang with yourself. At that Lord, infinite God, the High One, is. There's no denial. Religion has to teach you a denial. They have to. Because you teach denial, you accept denial, that's become your faith. Then you have a guilt, and then you have sin, and then you pay for it. And that's how we can build the temple and the churches. Don't you understand that? Yes, sir. That's needed. Money is needed. Priest has to be paid. Money has to be paid. Uh, fools do not know where there's a God, there's no dirt on this earth. Where there's a God, there's no dirt on this earth. Where there's a God, there's no dirt on this earth. So you don't have to 
take the basket out. Should we take the basket out? We should have an experience. Should we not experience? In the name of Almighty Lord God, spare some change? No? Yes? No, I have some good sons and daughters of mine. I can tell them as a father what I want to. And that day shall never come when I'll have in the time of the grace of God to do this. I always shall do this. And I believed that when I had no money, no clothes, no shoes to wear, no relative. All these relatives of mine respect me that I'm very rich and very powerful and well respected in the world. But I remember 27 years ago, they used to treat me I'm, I'm worse than a rabbit. They used to think I've gone insane. Now they don't think so, but it's too late. Akashic records never wiped out. Mana achinta pavte darre. Oh, my mind, be scared of unthinkable. Pap, pa, up, means what you earn with your ego. Whatever you receive for yourself with your ego is a sin. The English translation of pap is that. Pa, a, pa means get, a means yourself, what you get for yourself. That doesn't, God doesn't give it to you. When, when you create imbalance, you earn with the wrong means, then somebody becomes pure, and what you earn with the wrong means, is, it's not going to make you happy. There will be no barakat. There will be no blessing in it. That's why you see, all rich people are very unhappy. Money is not wrong. Collection is wrong. The process is wrong. You're not straight. When your projection is handicapped, when your projection is handicapped, that you are handicapped in projection in the sense that you do not feel secure. When you are insecure, moment you are insecure, you are unhappy, and your projection is handicapped. Don't we look at somebody's face and say, "Hey, what is the matter?" What do we say? What is the matter? We do not say, what happened to your spirit? We don't. Some material thing goes wrong, and we disturb our spirit. What a bargain! Have you any idea? Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes sir. So, when you lose your energy on the senses, you shall never have a sixth sense. And sixth sense is called power of self-intuition. Mostly I would like you to do when you use the English word, you should open up the dictionary and figure it out, because each word has four or five meanings. They call applied meanings. But in your mind there is always one meaning. Some people do tell me, can a Hatha yogi practice Kundalini yoga? I say, what? What are you talking about? I mean, I practice Hatha yoga. I say, do it. 
the purpose of all branches of yoga is to raise the kundalini to raise the dormant power of the being so that he can have the excellence idea is not what the wiring is and what electricity is and what the bulbs are and idea is to switch it on you switch it on with hatha yoga so switch it on with any yoga go ahead we are not asking you to practice kundalini yoga because kundalini yoga is for the householders people who have life family children married is a scientifically a time device device time saving device in just few minutes you can be whatever you want to be life is a lie if you do not find the eternal truth life is a tragedy if you only find the external truth life is it absolutely loss if you do not live to your status as a human or your reality status or your religious status whatever you want to call it <clears throat> 